Welcome to Driving Empire. This is probably the most well-known driving game on Roblox. And I've already played Driving Empire a few times, but today is going to be my first time getting a licensed car. This car being the SSC Ultimate Aero TT. As you can see, I already have a fast car, this being the 2023 Labran A58. But the Aero TT is faster, getting a top speed of 258 miles per hour. So let's start the grind for it by heading to the highway. And as you can see, I'm already at 600,000, which is pretty close to the amount that I need for the car, but I'll also need to upgrade it. And make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you like Driving Empire so I know to continue grinding this game and go for the more expensive cars in the game. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you know what Driving Empire is, but I'll give a brief explanation of the history of this game. Driving Empire, formerly called Wayfort, was created back in 2019 by two people. These two people being Phoninian, which I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and Borgis. Phoninian left the game to work on Vehicle Legends, which is now a super popular game as well, which I already recorded, so if you want to watch that game as well, I have done a full playthrough pretty much of that game. While well, Borgis stayed on the game, and he's like the main reason this game is popular. And this game grew popular because of its super realistic models. A few years later in 2022, a company acquired the game for a large sum of cash. To make the money back that they spent, they put out updates that the community didn't enjoy. One of the main examples being crates behind Wall of Robux. But now they've been focusing on fixing these bad updates and creating updates that players are more enjoying now. One of these updates that gained respect back from players is licensed cars. Like the SSC which I'm getting today which was a huge leap for Roblox car games. And I'm sure this game will keep on putting out updates that are going to be staple for car games in Roblox. What's also great about this game is there's a lot of daily challenges and different things you can earn cash from. So just now I've earned all this money and I'm already at 700,000 and I'm able to buy the car now. Well, there goes Chica and Peter is here buying a car. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. And here it is. I'm going to keep it the color that it is right now because I don't think any of these other colors will look better on it. And this being a good example of the models that they make, this has a full engine in it. And here we go. And now let's take it on the highway and see how fast it is stock. As you can see stock, it's already better than the McLaren, but this one has a slower acceleration, which we're going to work on with the upgrades. And I'm not going to teleport straight to the garage. I want to go and do a circle and then head back there so I can have a little bit of money before we go to see the upgrade costs. And there we go again. We got another daily challenge complete, which is 50,000. That's going to help a lot. And we have made it back to the city, so let's head over to the garage so we can check out the upgrade prices. And they've updated the garage, and this looks super nice. And I feel like a lot of other driving games are going to start copying this design. And let's check this different upgrade stuff. So the engine is 65,000, which I think I have enough. Yeah, I have 70,000 almost. But I'm not exactly sure how some of this stuff works. I think I'm just going to go for the most expensive stuff and then just upgrade them from there. I'm just going to go for pure top speed, so I'm going to go for the race engine. And we almost have enough for an upgrade, but we have to upgrade it six times to fully max it. And we'll have to do that for all of these upgrades. But I think I'm going to keep it real wheel drive because I don't really see all wheel drive doing too much. But with that, we got to keep grinding. And now we have a top speed of 284 instead of a top speed of like 258, I believe. So we're going to be making money way faster. And I want to do these challenges, but I don't have a friend, so I can't join a car meet with a friend. And I'm going to try these other races, but I'm not sure if this car is good enough for these. So let's start off with rush hour. And completing this, we'll be getting $6,000. If this car doesn't work good on this race, I can try using my McLaren as that one's a little bit faster and it has a better acceleration. And it's also way better at handling when this thing turns like a boat. But we're already halfway through this race, so I think we're going to complete it in time. And there we go, we completed it in under one minute, which is faster than the one minute 40 second time. So let's collect the 6,000 and let's move on to under four minutes and 40 seconds in the circuit race. And this will get me $8,000. One lap down, one more to go. Oh. 
And there we go. We also completed this one in one minute faster than the time that they wanted me to get. And there's this goal thing. So I might have to get faster cars and then go and complete these because 40,000 for completing it in faster time. That's really good. And I'm looking at this goal thing and it seems like I have to do the race three times setting the time faster than this here and then I'll get money. So that's a lot of money. So I might have to do this for every race, but we're already at 50,000 and I'm going to head back to the garage and upgrade the engine again. So we're just going to do it as many times as I can. We need 36,000 for the next upgrade. And then I don't know how much it is for the next one, maybe like 50,000 or something. So I'm going to go for around $90,000 and let's test out the car again since I upgraded it. We are now reaching just under 300 miles per hour with these engine upgrades. And I also forgot to claim this reward. So now we have another extra $8,000, which we're halfway to the 36,000 engine upgrade. What is in my car? <laughs> I don't... It's like an egg and a, a duck mix. What is this thing? Get it out. I just made it back to $50,000, but I'm going to actually go and do those races and see if I can earn some more cash doing that. And I'm going to redo circuit race so I can get the three stars in this, but I'm going to use my McLaren instead. So we just have to get it over there, but it's, uh, it's, there we go. And this should be pretty easy because last time we completed it like a minute faster. And this car I think is better for circuit than that SSC. As you can see, we're at 65% and we're already 14 seconds faster than the last time we did this race. And there we go, completing it 20 seconds faster than the last time. And we now have enough to do the engine upgrade, so let's head back to the garage. There we go, we now reach a top speed of 310 miles per hour. And to help upgrade the car even more, I'm gonna head back to the circuit and do that race again. And here we go, this time we have to reach 4 minutes and 10 seconds and we'll get 80,000, which is gonna help a lot. There's one lap down and I'm already almost two seconds faster than my last time. And there we go. I only missed one checkpoint and I got the 80,000. So let's go back to upgrading and I'm going to go for the quad turbo. I don't know what these other ones do, but I'm just going to go with the most expensive and we can also upgrade it a few times. And this seems to help with acceleration, so hopefully this will make the car even better. And I noticed this when looking at it again, you get diamond goals after the very first one, so I can earn even more money from just this singular race. And I love how this works because it allows people to do multiple races and they'll be getting money from each. And once they complete all these goals, they can go to the other one and do a different race. And this seems to make more money than just driving back and forth on the highway. So this is definitely a good update that they put in. And since I've already done this one, I'm going to try this one again and get this 12,000. And there we go. We completed it. And this car has so much horsepower that it just always wants to squirm over. Well, I don't need to worry about it anymore now that's in the ocean. What I was going to say is that the car was really squirmish and it had a lot of horsepower. So I was going to upgrade the tires, but I lost a car in the ocean. So I bought this car and now I'm just going to have to grind with this. And there we go. We now have enough to buy the race tires, but we'll also have to upgrade this, which uh, it's going to take a while. And driving it, it definitely feels better. But now I don't even have a thousand dollars to my name. It would be nice to have the two times driving income for 10 minutes, but I don't have a friend. And I just hit 500 miles, but I still have to grind to max out this car. All right, so I've done some grinding and now I have $342,000 to upgrade the car. And we've already maxed out the engine, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's hopefully fully max out this. There we go. And 
Now onto the brakes. I'm not sure if I should do brakes. I think I'm going to focus on the race tires first. And now the nitrous. And I think that's basically the car fully maxed other than the brakes, which brakes aren't really that important. And here we are on the highway to test acceleration and top speed. And here we go. Three, two, one, go. This thing is way faster. And the top speed is exactly the same since we didn't upgrade the engine at all because it's already maxed and everything else just made it faster or better grip and acceleration. Uh, oh, okay. This car is really fast now. And let's see how fast we can get it with boost. 337 miles per hour, which I think that's 100 miles per hour faster than the McLaren that I have. And with that being said, I think that'd be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what other cars I should grind for, and I'll see you in the next video.